Hello you guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today's super fun because me and my mom and sisters and Elena are going shopping in Dallas. I thought I would take you guys along. I got all dressed up in my cute new scarf. <laughs> I'm so excited about this because I've never had a Burberry scarf before and I just recently got one So I'm so excited to show you guys how I styled it um, But we're basically just gonna go shopping go eating it's like a girl's day So this is how I styled my Burberry scarf today. I'm so excited about it So it's actually really cute because it's double-sided and the inside lining is pink it's so cute. So I just have on this camel sweater cardigan thing that I got from Mango last year. I'll link something similar. I have on a blush pink sweater. And then these jeans are actually from Walmart. But these are so good. I love the buttons on these and the fit. It's like a straight cut. It's hard to see because they're black. I'm also wearing the Steve Madden black booties that I had in my hacks video recently. And then I have my YSL bag. Oh, and then my diaper bag. <laughs> so, let's go. We just arrived. I wanted to show you guys this mask. So I usually have um, kind of like my everyday masks that are like more cotton material. They're a little bit more breathable, honestly, but whenever I'm going somewhere and I want to look a little bit cuter, I have this um, slip silk mask. And it's like a really subtle leopard print. Elena's very upset, so <laughs> let's go. Italy, which was very cute. They opened in North Park. I got my little coffee. So I'm gonna try to enjoy this in here. And basically the lady's bathroom. Because <laughs> I had to feed this little baby girl. She was not very happy. Okay, it is the next day and I'm sorry that I did not get to film very much yesterday. Um, taking Elena to Dallas was very stressful yesterday. I spent most of my time in the Nordstrom lounge area trying to get her calmed down and like feeding her and just dealing with her and it was not enjoyable whatsoever we wanted to have like a really fun girls day and I thought it would be really fun to take my baby but anyways she was just very fussy and it was very difficult so I didn't get to really enjoy anything yesterday we went by Italy we got a coffee and I basically spent the rest of the time in like the women's lounge area so um i think maybe she's just a little bit too young still it's still like a two hour drive to dallas for her is still really hard so i think that was why she was just really cranky and we also missed her bedtime so we were kind of late so just it goes to show you how important a bedtime routine is and how like sticking to that time frame is because she just thrives off of routine um anyways amanda and i just finished up a shoot um she took some pictures of me for a walmart post that i'm doing on instagram i'll show you guys this outfit in a second because it's some really good like basic casual pieces that are really really good pieces from walmart and super affordable i am actually putting up some of elena's newborn pictures in these frames finally so i'll show you guys how that turns out um and then i was gonna make some dinner i'll show you guys what we're eating later elena's down for her nap right now so i'm trying to just like decompress and relax a little bit. I've got some tea here. I always have a tea with me like at all times. <laughs> this is Moroccan mint. So let's go ahead and put up these photos. I'll show you guys what they look like when I'm finished. So these are the ones I decided to frame. These are ones that I don't think I ever showed you guys because at the time um, she was like a week old there and I don't know. I was just like really really protective of Alina and I was really scared to like share her too much but I, was, I figured since I'm going to be hanging these in her room, you guys are going to see them. My little baby feet. So cute. Okay, I went ahead and put up the pictures with a princess. She was literally a week old there. I kind of miss how it was like all pink on this wall with the little pink watercolor frames but i think i am gonna like having her little newborn pictures and just some like fun actual pictures in there anyways it's easy to change out if i decide that i want to change these up but for now that is what it looks like i wanted to show you guys what i'm wearing today because the top and jeans 
are both Walmart and they do not feel or look like Walmart whatsoever. I think they're super good quality um, winter basics. I am obsessed. So this sweater is a um, high turtleneck. The material is so, so soft. Um, it's a really good length, covers up everything in the back. And these sleeves are a little bit um, kind of like wider sleeves with the drop shoulder. The seam on the shoulder is like right there. Anyways, this is so cute and comes in several colors. These jeans I've shared earlier in the vlog, they have like the exposed buttons at the top, but they're just a really nice like straight cut fit. They're not like too tight or anything like that. The boots are definitely not Walmart. <laughs> I actually splurged on a pair of Uggs. I never would have thought I would have bought Uggs again um, because they were like super popular and I really uh, wanted them when I was in um, like... I don't know, junior high. After I wore those to death in junior high, I was like, I don't think I'll ever buy a pair of Uggs again because they just seemed like out of style, but they are <laughs> so comfy. And I just, I think these little mini short ones are actually really cute. So I thought I would wear these whenever I'm like running errands during the winter time or when I'm running to my mom's house or my mother-in-law's house. And I just want to throw on something comfy. And I don't know, I thought the black ones looked kind of chic. <laughs> And I'm also a little bit surprised that I got black because I do have some cute like nude colors, but I just thought these would match my outfits more in the winter time. And I've been wearing more black, you guys. Who even am I? I, I kind of feel like ever since I became a mom, I just like need to incorporate more black into my outfits because I feel like it's like more edgy and like more chic and I'm feeling like I'm not... I don't know. I just need to be like a cool mom. I don't think you'll ever see me wear a black hijab. <laughs> But definitely like mixing and matching a little bit more black in my wardrobe. So let me know if you guys think it's working for me. Okay, so Elena's actually been napping very well today. It's been almost two hours since I set her down for her last nap. So I may have enough time to put up all the groceries for my grocery order. Somebody woke up. I got this really cute new um, Baby Bjorn leopard carrier. I am literally so obsessed. It seriously matches like my whole aesthetic and vibe so much. Elena's even wearing <laughs> leopard today. She kind of blends into it. Also, Elena's wearing more black to match her mom. <laughs> I got this velvet bow from Lulu and Company. So anyways, I'm gonna unload these groceries. I thought I would kind of just show you guys what all I got. So I have some gluten-free everything bagels. Those are seriously the best. They're so good. They're by Canyon Bakehouse. I got some eggs. I always save all of my plastic baggies. I use them as trash bags. Does anyone else do that? I got some um, pre-cut and washed Brussels sprouts. I got some blueberries. Got some almond milk. I also, I ordered this from Sprouts, by the way. Do you guys shop from Sprouts? I, um, we just recently got a Sprouts in our small town. So I've been ordering from them every once in a while and I really like their stuff. Got some organic corn and I got some frozen blueberries and strawberries. So I've been putting those in my smoothies. Oh, this is like some naughty stuff because I was planning on making some mashed potatoes. I really just wanted like some home style mashed potatoes. <laughs> So I got some heavy whipping cream. So this stuff is very naughty, but um, anyways, we have some Parmesan cheese, some heavy whipping cream, this is some feta cheese, and butter. So I'm not gonna use all that for the mashed potatoes, but that's just like all my naughty stuff. The rest of the stuff is healthy. We have bananas. Ooh, I got a lot of bananas this time because they were low, um, because I need to freeze some of these for smoothies. Have a couple boxes of spinach because we use that for smoothies both omar and i put so much spinach in our smoothies so we go through that like crazy what's in here oh this is pasta this is my favorite brand of gluten-free pasta it's called jovial anyways i'll put that down below for you guys because it usually does not taste gluten-free it's with brown rice and i really, really like their fulisi is that what it's called fusili it's a spirally pasta. It's so good. Oh, okay. I have to get closer so you guys can see this. So I don't know. Have I shared these on my channel before? I've been talking about them on Instagram so much. These are the Medjool date rolls, the coconut date rolls. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. You have to try these. They are delicious. It's literally just my jewel dates and um, what's it? shredded coconut and it is just the best little treat during the day so so good i also recently have been trying the cacao and pecan date rolls and they are like fudge it is so delicious so yeah definitely like lots of sugar but at least it's like just dates you know <laughs> got some cacao for my smoothies some flax seed for my smoothies this is basically a bunch of like stuff that we need to refill because we're running low on all of our smoothie stuff. And then I got some Moroccan mint tea by Numi. I have been drinking this stuff like crazy. I was literally drinking this earlier in the vlog. And I think that's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything up. I just whipped up dinner. I have um, air fried chicken with almond flour and spices. So it's really not, it looks like it's super unhealthy, but it's just almond flour and spices in the air fryer, not even any oil. So, so yummy. I have some roasted Brussels sprouts. This is not so healthy. <laughs> Garlic, mashed potatoes, and there's definitely butter and heavy cream in there but i don't really i never really cook unhealthy food so this is definitely a treat for us so this is so good so we're about to dig in on dinner i just laid elena down um for the night okay we just finished dinner that was actually so delicious potato is probably not the best thing for me because of all the cream and butter but it was so yummy. Um, I'm just sitting down at my computer now because I have to edit some pictures and some content for Walmart that's gonna go live tomorrow on my Instagram. Um, when we were in Dallas yesterday, I ran into so many of you guys. I think I ran into like five of my subscribers and I really don't get to meet you guys very often because I just don't <laughs> get out enough. Just being a new mom and during a pandemic, obviously, we're home most of the time. And like going out to Dallas is like a big thing for me. Like that is like a big outing. <laughs> so anyways, it was so so nice meeting you guys i get so excited like if you ever see me and or my sisters like we literally love like talking to you guys and running into y'all y'all are seriously like the sweetest girls ever and i'm so thankful for you guys like you have absolutely no idea i, I just have literally the sweetest most amazing community here and i just oh, i love y'all so so much and i just want to let you guys know because when I see you guys in person, it just like literally brings me so much joy and just reminds me why I do what I do. So good morning, it is Friday morning. It is 8.20 and I'm up and dressed very early and Elena's still down for her first nap. She naps really good in the morning and then her naps slowly just get worse and worse throughout the day. Um, but hopefully Amanda and I can get a little bit of work done this morning. She's gonna come over in just a second so we can have our weekly meeting. We always meet either like Fridays or Mondays. I usually like to do Friday meetings because I like getting ahead at like the next week. That way I can start Monday and know exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I'll kind of take you guys along today. I'm also getting my hair cut. Oh, you guys, I have not gotten my hair cut since before my baby shower, which at this point was like five months ago. My hair is so long, like it's ridiculous. I'm also like in dire need of a Brazilian blowout. So if you guys, um, I think I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I have gotten one Brazilian blowout in my life. I think it was like, it was over a year ago because I avoided it while I was pregnant and it changed my life. It seriously was the best thing ever. It's just like a smoothing treatment. If you go to someone who does like the professional actual Brazilian blowout, it's basically just like a smoothing treatment for your hair. Gets rid of frizz. I need it again. I need it so bad. It, it just makes maintaining your hair every day so much easier. So I'm going to get that today getting a trim, getting some TLC to my hair because it just needs it so, so bad. Um, also, I wanted to mention while I was talking about my hair is that I never like talked about postpartum hair loss because I thought that it, I really didn't have any until like the past couple of weeks, I have been losing so much hair and I'm now 
four and a half ish months postpartum i didn't know it hit you this late it, it did for me anyways and i can tell for sure like around my hairline that it's a little bit more like patchy there <sighs> tell me if any of you guys have had postpartum hair loss that was a little bit more delayed i thought it was like right after you had your baby but for me it just took a little longer so if you guys have any tips for regrowing hair let me know and i'll try some out and i'll let you know if i can find anything that works for me okay while i was sitting here i was thinking about my nails i never mentioned i finally got my nails done after so many months it has been so long since i've gotten my nails done i got them done um like maybe three weeks after i had elena because i had an essie campaign and then after that i haven't done anything and i just felt like treating myself um the only thing is i'm a terrible customer <laughs> when it comes to getting my nails done i'm so picky and i'm such a perfectionist and i just am stressed the whole time because i'm like that's just like not the exact shape that i would have done you know what i mean like i'm just like i could have done it better myself but i can't do it myself <laughs> i'm just that kind of customer but Anyways, I'm just happy to have them done, but I did freaking ruin one of my nails. Literally, like, two days after I had them done, I was peeling beets while I was cooking, and I peeled one of my nails right off, and thankfully it didn't cut me. <laughs> it just peeled my nail off, but I was just like, I can never have nice things. <laughs> I can never have nice nails. It oh, just made me so mad. Anyways, I'm, ha I'm just happy to kind of like have them done and feel a little bit put together. Also, I've never shown you guys um, my Elena ring. I've shared it on Instagram several times, but this is from the brand Diamond Reserve. The owner of the company is so sweet. Her name is Kylie. She is the nicest person and she's just so, so kind. She made me this Elena ring. She's so talented. All of her jewelry that she creates is just absolutely stunning. Uh, she is like literally my personal jeweler at this point. I just love her so much. I'm like anything that I'm ever, um, like any rings that I'm ever going to want in the future, I'm getting from her because she is just so talented. But I will link her shop below because she does these beautiful custom rings. I chose the font for the Elena. And I also chose um, a rose gold color. This is something that I would love to be able to like pass down to her one day, inshallah. It's just so, so special. So I will link her shop down below in case any of you guys are interested. But it's just one of my favorite pieces and I literally wear it every single day and I haven't even mentioned it on here. So I wanted to do that. Okay, so we're gonna be planning content for beginning of 2021. So we're gonna discuss all that. But if you guys have any requests for videos that you want to see please leave them down below i'm going to be po posting this video tomorrow so this is literally like you know we're filming this yesterday <laughs> so let us know so that we can plan all that out for the beginning of the year i want to show you guys how much of a mess i am when it comes to planning so i have a weekly planner and i have a monthly planner and i cannot get away from doing stuff on paper let me know if you guys are like this as well like i just i have a google calendar but i just don't use it i don't know why i just like need to write things down but then whenever i write things down it's like a freaking mess and i have just like i don't know it's all scribbles and then when i look at it it stresses me out so <laughs> i basically have a problem amanda is very organized she, not really don't you use uh, your google calendar yeah i use a google calendar but i feel like i need to start writing things down i actually ordered some of these to oh, write things down i like love them. a weekly planner that has helped me so much but anyways. i need to like start writing things down it's so helpful but yeah, maybe you'll be better about it than me. <laughs> I've got my jasmine green tea and my Yeti. And I've been supporting y'all's small businesses on my Instagram with all of your Etsy shops. And so I'm filling them up, filling this up with all of your stickers. Because apparently stickers are huge on Etsy. So we're about to start our meeting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she sees the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, I'm ready to go get my hair cut. Amanda's holding it. Elena, while I got all my stuff together and um, while I show my outfit of the day. This is a really good sweater dress from Amazon. It is such a good like ribbed material. The, the material is so soft. It's a really good length to wear with like tighter jeans or leggings. I have on these faux leather leggings that I've had forever. For, uh, I think they're from Aritzia. I can't remember. I'll, they're probably not even available anymore, but I'll link something similar. And then I have on my little baby Uggs. So cute. So, in my backpack. Let's go. Okay, I just pulled up to my hair salon. So I thought I would mention this in case any of you guys are curious how I get my hair cut because I wear hijab. And um, anyways, I was so blessed, so lucky to find Taylor, my hairdresser. She has her own salon and she's so incredible. She's like a Redken educator. So she's so, so good at what she does. And she, since she has her own salon, she's able to like make sure that there's no other men in there whenever I get my hair cut. It's amazing. She does amazing Brazilian blowouts she does amazing like balayage color she's so good i'm actually like five minutes late so <laughs> let's go run in oh and i do have my mask but this is omar's mask he always leaves his like disposable ones in here but i forgot my cute one so anyways it's not that big of a deal <laughs> let's go i'm here with taylor and i'm so excited to get my hair cut i wish i could show you all the process because she's a magician <laughs> oh and Congratulations. Thank you. You just got engaged. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm so happy for you. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish that I could, I wish that I had a channel that I knew it was just girls so that I could show you guys my hair. But um, I seriously cut off probably like, probably like five or six inches. Like I actually seriously like chopped my hair. It's still like a medium length. Um, and my Brazilian blowout just made everything so sleek and oh my gosh, I'm just like a new woman. And I know that <laughs> my hairdresser is probably just like, I did all that work, fix it up perfectly. And then you have to put your hijab back on and ruin all my work. But <laughs> it's just so funny. Anyways, I did want to talk to you guys about what me and Amanda were discussing in my in our meeting earlier today. So we were trying to kind of figure out the plan for the beginning of 2021. And there's a lot of things that I didn't really get to on my channel um, with like just holidays and like baby. And it was just a very, very, very busy time. So there were things that I just, I wanted to film, but I just didn't have the chance. So I'm planning on doing a postpartum essentials video because I did see some people asking me for a postpartum video and I also want to do a three to six month baby essentials and kind of talk about like the baby gear that we use and like the more higher price point things and just kind of review all those things that we're loving um, just so that those are like main videos on my channel that you guys can refer back to if any of you guys have babies or ever have babies in the future then at least those videos will be on my channel for you guys to look at and just get all my recommendations for those baby things. Another thing that we're planning on doing is a house tour. So we're planning on, I mean, this has been a video people have requested for so, so long, but I just never really felt like my house is ready. And even now, I mean, there's things that, I, I mean, are just not perfect for me, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna film like a couple of different videos on tours of different rooms. Like I said earlier, if you guys have any requests for videos, leave them down below. I will be continuing to do vlogs and stuff as well, so. Just let me know what you guys want to see. So I'm going to go pick up Elena. My mother-in-law was watching her while I got my hair done. And I will catch up with y'all in a little bit. Okay, I'm back home. My sisters are here. And Amanda. Lauren and Elena. <laughs> Elena got tired. We have some tea. We just finished eating Chipotle for lunch. And we just need a little tea time. So we got some... Or Lauren's drinking green tea kombucha. I'm drinking Moroccan mint. Moroccan mint. mint. So Always. yummy. And then I have my famous coconut date rolls as a little treat. Those are so good. I love them so much. Elena was playing here, but she just got very tired. The toys <laughs> that they have on the stage are so funny. She loves them so, so much. <laughs> oh, this, by the way, and this little gift over there is my grandma's Christmas gift that we're giving to her later today. I'm sure most of you guys know that my mom's side of the family is Christian, so we always like to give my grandma a gift every year because she's so sweet and gives us a, a gift, each of us a gift every single year. So we always try to like put together something for her. So I got her some coffee, coffee creamer, 
little thermos, um, a picture frame with one of the pictures that we took at my baby shower. I just tried to put, and I put together a bunch of like skincare and stuff for her. So anyways, we're gonna give that to her tonight. But I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog. I love you guys so, so much. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see next on my channel and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.